So let's see, Christmas, it was 60 degrees. January, uh, arguably just as odd, but what's in store for the rest of this winter ahead? Well, Jacob Wyckoff is back with a big picture look, Jacob. Yeah, Nick, we've had some big ups and downs this winter. I spoke with a leading climate scientist on her thoughts for the winter and some research that she co-authored. It's been a crazy winter. Maybe not so much for us in New England, but around the world. The southwestern United States has been incredibly dry. Snowfall in Madrid in the Sahara Desert, record cold in Eastern Asia, and 10 feet of snow in Japan. It can all be explained in part by the stratospheric polar vortex. Right now, we're, we're still seeing a, a disrupted polar vortex. There are indications that it may even undergo another disruption, um, which would be pretty unusual to have it last so long. Dr. Jennifer Francis is a senior researcher at the Woodwell Climate Research Center in Falmouth. The problem is uh, it's difficult to forecast where and how that disruption is going to occur, how long it's going to last, where that cold air is going to get shoved to. She's also co-author of a new paper studying the wintertime relationship between the Arctic, the tropics, and other ocean and air patterns. We're witnessing this rapid change in the climate system and trying to get our hands around and our heads around, you know, how all these different factors um, may or may not be playing a role. It's a very important um, area of research that um, really needs to make some progress somehow. And what does it all mean for the rest of our winter? It looks like we're going to get some real winter, I think. Some of the models are hinting that one of those cold air is going to slide down over North America. And Dr. Francis says research like this can provide insight into long-term forecasts, which in turn could help us plan for economic impacts like energy prices during, let's say, our current shot of cold Arctic air.